I can't believe it's currently the 2nd of May, but it's time for me to do my April reading wrap up. I haven't counted how many books I have read. Also, I did make a little bit of a purchase. It's a little bit big for the space, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's gonna get a bit annoying, but luckily I only have to put up with it for like two months, so it's fine. Five books in the month of April. Um, I just had assignments due in and so I wasn't reading as much or when I was reading I was reading bits of everything so for anyone who's aware I finished my starting a new book every single day like video with in like the first at like the end of the first week of April so it was literally like the sixth and so I've got a lot on my currently reading. Now I didn't get to any of my TBR at all, it's literally still over there in a pile. Um, yeah, we've not got to it. So, yeah, so I have faith that, this is really weird lighting, I know I could have sat with that behind me, but hey ho. Um, so I've still got all of that on my currently reading. I'm just gonna, overall, I'm working through that um, a little bit. Once I get it down to like an okay amount, I'll then start to pick up new books, which shouldn't be too long to be fair, because um, I've got books where I'm okay with them taking longer. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's get on to the books. So the first one is Powerless by Elsie Silver. Now, I, I loved the first two. Um, I loved the second one more. This was a four star rating. I, it wasn't my favourite, but I think I preferred this one a bit more to Flawless. I just, I think I enjoyed the romance a bit more. I enjoyed the interactions with the couple. Obviously, you've got that history there, like they already knew each other. Um, and so it's just really sweet. And the, like, spice scenes in here were a little less cringy to me compared to what I remember of the first two. Like, I read um, Heartless last month. And the spy scenes were just a little bit cringy for me personally. Um, so I preferred this a little bit more um, in terms of that aspect. But also the banter, still great, but also wasn't as good as with Willa and Kate. But yeah, I definitely want to continue on with the series. I do own the rest of the series as well. And I did read this so quick. Actually, yeah, I read this in this time span of 24 hours literally the time span of 24 hours um yeah so good then i finished knife skills for beginners by orlando murin this i started a what no so this one i incidentally started on the first day of my reading a new book every day challenge i'd started this before deciding to do a challenge but i decided it but i'd read it at the start of the day that I decided and started the challenge, which ended up being quite beneficial. I finally got to reading it. This is a cozy murder mystery. It's definitely not like high stakes or anything. I think I guessed part of the ending, but also not a lot of it. So I definitely would recommend. Don't go into this thinking it's high stakes. I rated it a 3.75. I rounded it up to a four on Goodreads. I just recommend it and this was a good this so the author is a chef and has written a few cookbooks um so this is the first fiction book of his and from the sounds of the ending like not the actual ending of the book but there this isn't a spoiler or anything but the final line after um like right at the end there's a little line that says end of book one which means there's going to be more and I definitely am interested in picking up those future books. Um, I wonder whether it follows our main character Paul. Also I forgot to say this follows um, Jasper and Sloane. Um, and I also have to say I loved Harvey's banter. Like I loved Harvey as the dad for anyone who's curious and I loved his like little like jokes he was making. Like they were so fun um but yeah so this i would still recommend don't go into it go don't go into it thinking it's high stakes but it was an all right book my eyes just completely skipped over so that was definitely not in chronological order um <laughs> so after i'd finished powerless i finished killer instinct by jennifer lynn barnes 
Um, this was the second book in the Natural series. Um, the third and fourth book have finally come out, like, on Amazon, like, in Kindle format. Um, so I think I will pick those up. I might see if it'll go to 99p, but also I might not. I don't know. I haven't decided. I really enjoyed this. I didn't leave a review on it, but I rated it at four stars. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as um, the first book, but saying that, although I guessed part of the ending, I didn't guess all of it. It definitely did like leave stuff that wasn't, that you might not have necessarily guessed. Um, so this book followed like so the first book follows more towards Cassie's mum and that situation and then this book follows Dean's dad and his whole thing I just really enjoyed it they're really quick and easy to read and I would definitely recommend starting the series after Killer Instinct and before Knife Skills I finished Powerful by Lauren Roberts so this is the novella to um Powerless by the same obviously by the same author jesus christ i rated powerless a five stars loved it this follows hayden's best friend adina um and like her life whilst hayden is in the trials um and all of that stuff is going on obviously we know some stuff from the first book about adina's story yeah i really loved mac so loved he was so nice and I hope that he makes a reappearance like in either book two or book three like he needs to have a crucial role in helping Payden like I'm sorry but she can't have brought him up to then just forget about him like no no he's going to help her he's absolutely going to help her um in some way I don't know whether this is at least a four stars I think I don't know whether it's a 4.5 or a 4.75 I'd say it's probably closer to a 4.5. I've rated it a 5 on Goodreads just because I think being a 4.5 and a novella because this is like double line spacing like this is so quick to read like usually I'm reading like a page a minute like I'm reading in this book I'm reading two pages a minute. I will say though is if a book has smaller text it does take me longer to read a page I will say that. I cannot wait for Reckless that comes out in July yeah July start of July something like the 9th I think or like the 11th I know it's like an odd date and it's in the first half of the month yeah so yeah I really love this so nice I got the works like the the works edition and I think I prefer this one like the only difference is the like stenciled edges but I just I love it sometimes I don't like the block colored ones like for me I just these are a little bit prettier um and it's like a needle and and there's just like flowers not flowers leaves yeah i just i think that's really beautiful i just i really enjoyed it from the looks of things though um the australian um one where it's like the purple front or like the purple like the dark purple black front kind of one from the sounds of that that's got the same like line spacing so clearly it's a popular choice but then again i guess if you're trying to put design on like the edge and whatnot it makes it easier to have a bigger book i definitely enjoyed this and i would recommend but you do need to so you do sort of need to read the first book first but also at the same time this could potentially be read as a standalone i will say like this could potentially be read as a standalone because it doesn't give too much away about the first book but also again still read the first before the novella yeah and then the final book and my lowest rated book of this month was the queen of monsters by aria mossy um i did not like this book maybe it was a 1.5 star i rated it a one on goodreads this I received as an arc and it took me so 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 long to get through um I should have handed this in on like like put my review in on like the 9th of April I finished it on the 26th um so yeah did not like it I wouldn't recommend it got a little bit better in the second half she mentioned the word monsters 
so much during the first like quarter it got a little bit better but yeah she mentioned it so much and i'm just like go no um and i don't think i fully liked like just like the flow of things um i prefer tannin's um like chapters more and like his point of view um but also they didn't start till like quarter of the way through which is when it got a little bit more interesting um where the plot started to like pick up and everything um yeah i wouldn't recommend that is book two of the series i did not read book one and i definitely won't be reading book one i just the writing style isn't for me like the premise of it is really interesting but it just also it's a romanticy it's a romanticy um yeah i just i wouldn't recommend i know that there are some people that did like it but i also know that for a, a few of the people who received the arc they also dnf'd it and there seemed to be a kind of running kind of viewpoint of it wasn't great and although this is like a smaller group of people at the same time we've all come from like we've all got different tastes obviously we've all well I say we've all got different tastes like we've decided to pick this book up so obviously we've got like similar tastes but it's kind of like but that was the final book I read we've had I'd say in I'd say we've had a successful month like we've had two four stars a 4.5 and a 3.75 obviously we had the outlier of the one but I was kind of forcing myself to finish it and I think I did that just because it was an arc Although I could have DNF'd, I decided to not DNF and to continue on with it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books that you read in the month of April. I, w I was about to say the month of May then and it's... Although it is May, would not talk about May in this video. Um, But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!